There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? Today I'm about to give you a video. This is my post-election 13 video. Now, I might have loaded it real late, but nevertheless, the facts remain. You know, Mr. Warmack is always in the building, and I'm giving you actual real rap events. So, let's get it in. Now, post-election results, the voter turnout was low. If you see another video I had, I had where some people won't vote, and it was a low turnout. I don't know if I uploaded the video yet. Because right now I'm in the midst of a lot of, it's hectic over here. I got videos left and right, and I'm trying to keep up, catch up with them right now. Plus I got the J.O., they working with us like slaves over there, so I'm real busy. So, But this video is about the post-election results. You know, and the biggest, the biggest winners in the, thir in the 13, 2013 election were the middle of the road, uh, 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 how can I say, politicians, whether... You're a conservative or Democrat. If you were middle of the road, you still kept your job. The biggest losers of the of the 2013 election were the Tea Party, and that was something I've been telling you for how long the Tea Party is hurting the GOP. You know, and since the Tea Party lost, the GOP brand has been touched, ruined. Not ruined. I say torched a little. Uh, you know, the, the DOP took some losses, which, like the governor of Virginia, McAuliffe, I, he won, and the GOP was looking to take that, but unfortunately they ran with a Tea Party guy, where they should have ran with a more mainstream person in Virginia. I mean, I'll tell you, the Tea Party always seems to be uh, turning away more and more moderate folks. Because the Tea Party has this bully view. It's either our way or it's the highway. Well, if you look at the voter turnout, it was the highway for the Tea Party. You know, the Tea Party wants to say this is the way we're going to do it and this is how we're going to get it done. That's fine and dandy, but you got to have a negotiation. It's not going to be always your way. You know, the, the GOP has given into the Tea Party, which I don't know why. The GOP, the GOP is like the new version of the Democrats, because remember back like when the Democrats had no balls? I mean, not that they have that many, their stones ain't any bigger now, it's just that the GOP has got sunk to their level as far as bravery. And as far as the Democrats go, these guys, they couldn't capitalize on shit. I mean, I made a video, like, a clear law, a clear, how a clear victory was taken from the GOP, something like that. You gotta go back to my catalog. Well, this time, the Democrats, these dudes, it's, it's like, I'm going to compare this to football. The Democrats had like a 21, 24 point lead, you know, at halftime, and only won by fucking seven. Yeah, they, they, they just, they just, I don't know what the fuck it is over there. I mean, they just like, la dee da just chill back. You know, I, I mean, I admit the GOP wasn't doing themselves any, you know, any favors, but what they were promoting, but you guys, Jesus, damn, you guys didn't do nothing outside of, well, don't vote for us, vote for them, vote for us, why? So, 2014 is going to shape up to be pretty good, so I'm looking forward to the same thing, unless the Tea Party can change their ways, and the GOP doesn't stand, you know, stand in the way of them, the GOP acts like the GOP and says, hey, you guys need to settle down. Now look for the, for the Democrats to keep being Democrats and not have any balls, so I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.